As fall begins here in the valley, uh, rodents have remained an unwanted house guest mm. in many homes throughout the valley. <laughs> you may want to get a handle on the situation before the cold weather comes, and then you know where they're heading. They're heading inside, probably into your home. Yeah, they're coming to your yeah. house. Trent English is here from uh, Truly Nolan. He's a pest control technician with some tips on how to keep your home rodent free uh, this winter. Now, the whole thing. Trent, is that they're looking for warmth, right? Coming they are. Mm -hmm. They are. It's really air infiltration or negative airflow. So in the summer, when it's scorching outside and they want refuge, mm -hmm. they'll fill that escaping negative cool airflow. In the winter, though, that's that's the time of year they really like to hunker down. They're not so active on the outside. So they'll feel that okay. warmth yeah. coming out vents, especially on a roof. They get pulled to those areas, and if sc the screen's not there, which it often isn't around those vents or it's mm. compromised, they just plop right down in there, and they have wow. a nice, happy, warm winter chewing on things they shouldn't. So. Yeah. Yeah, and Parts sometimes of your house. they're behind our walls, and so they're a little bit sneaky. We need to know if they're there. I know sometimes people actually see them skittling across the roof. I saw a rat this summer drinking out of my pool. Oh. You're just oh, having, cool. having a little sip. Yeah, but what are some other signs that you have rodents on your property? Well, if your dogs are going crazy or you have pets yeah. mm -hmm. that are targeting certain areas, I'm a big proponent of pets because they can smell out, sniff out intruders, and they often will. Um, boros? Because they're they, great diggers, mm -hmm. so if you have holes around trees and stuff, the, the, you get a kick out. D definitely maybe a roof rat there around the shrubs and stuff like that. Um, inside the home, you want to look around the garage too. So the size of the garage, they don't have control of their, their bodily functions, so they, they drop a lot of fecal along the way. Look for signs of fecal around the inside of the garage because they, okay. they can do a lot of damage to a vehicle. I, I check the hatch around the attic often because they're pulled to airflow. So if you have droppings around your attic, there's probably yeah, an unwanted guest up okay. there. Wow, now right. there, are, there are tree rats and then there are ground rats, right? Well, they're, they're called roof rats, AKA ship rats. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know, and this is the misconception is they always stay high. What's, what's bad and kind of ironic is the pregnant female roof rats will come in because they're getting ready to care, give, mm -hmm. you know, give birth. They'll come in ground level. So every fall and winter, we get so many calls with doggy doors being left up oh, or yeah. the doors being left open right. and you'll get a pregnant female rat that runs Oof. right in and then <laughs> one rat can turn into 12, just like that. Yikes. Man. Listen, we want folks to know they can call Truly Nolan, uh, not just for rodents, but you deal with termites and scorpions as well? Absolutely. Okay. That's your Absolutely. favorite subject, right? I know. Termites and scorpions. No, I don't. Scorpions. The moment I find a scorpion <laughs> in my home, I'm moving. I No, <laughs> knock on wood. Where's some wood? I haven't found one yet. Yeah, but you have a scorpion story. Uh, really oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I had scorpions lived up uh, in Anthem and had scorpions all the time. And as a matter of fact, I lost a toenail stomping on one because I didn't want it to get, it get away. What do you do to keep these things away from your house? Flamethrower, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just, I'm kidding. Don't, so, don't, don't go out there. Wow. I'm not encouraging that because there have been some news stories about it. Yeah, no people. kidding. Uh, no, uh, air, air infiltration. So again, yeah. bugs have hairs on their body, scorpions especially. Uh -huh. They fill that escaping airflow, especially the warmth. This is where they hibernate inside. Uh -huh. They'll get drawn to those areas. Check yep. around windows and doors to make sure they're properly insulated. Perfect. It'll stop their wanting to be pulled to your house. Trent, thank you so much, guys. If you need some help with any of these issues, rodents, termites, scorpions, call Trent English. He's a great friend of the show here. Truly Nolan Pest Control, 702-798-0010. You can also visit their website, trulynolan.com.